Hi, welcome to the Budget MTG Dex. All magic fun, all cards are in a dollar. I'm David, and today we're going to be looking at the top five Guilds of Ravnica cards for Commander. So these are the cards that we think are going to see the most play, or simply the most powerful for your Commander decks. If you want to know what cards are best for sealed or draft, check out our full set review of every single card in Guilds of Ravnica, especially for that. That playlist should be on your screen right now. All right, let's get right started with the first card. The first card on this list is actually not one card, it is actually a cycle of five cards, starting off with Selesnia Locket, Boros Locket, Demir Locket, Golgari Locket, and Izzet Locket. Now, these cards do everything you want in Commander. Now, they mana fix you, they mana ramp you, and they draw you cards when you're mana flooded. Now, we've had cards uh, like this before, and that was uh, the Clue Stones. And these were kind of similar as well. They also cost three mana. You could also tap them for two of their respective guild colors. But uh, and now with the Selesnia Lockets, we can pay twice as much mana to draw twice as many cards. And it's a little bit more flexible due to the hybrid mana. I definitely see a lot of commander decks, including these mana rocks. Niv Mizzet Parun is next for three blue and three red. This thing is a 5-5 legendary dragon wizard. It can't be countered, it has flying. Additionally, whenever you draw a card, this card is gonna deal one damage to any target. And also whenever any player casts an instant or sorcery spell, we're going to be drawing a card. Now this is an instant commander darling with all the relevant, relevant abilities and arguably probably a better commander than the previous two niv Mizzets that we had. Now niv Mizzet Draco Genius drew a card whenever it dealt damage. And if Mizzet the Fire Mind dealt damage whenever we drew a card. Now this one's a little bit more like uh, Niv Mizzet the Fire Mind, but it's basically uh, the same card with the power and toughness of Draco Genius while drawing tons and tons of cards. Not only when uh, when we activate it, like what the Fire Mind could do, but now when anybody plays an instant or sorcery. And on top of that, it's also uncounterable. I see this almost as a strict upgrade for your previous niv Mizzet decks. Up next, Divine Visitation for three and two white, so for five mana, it's an enchantment. And it states that if one or more creature tokens would be created under our control, that many 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance are created instead. Now, first token decks had uh, doubling season and parallel lies and we thought it could not get any more crazy, crazy in Commander, but as we can see that we were extremely wrong. There's nothing quite like getting a Sarah Angel for every Pegasus created with Storm Herd. It is going to be absolutely ridiculous in Commander, and just all token decks are going to want one of these. The fourth card on our list is Doom Whisper for three and two blacks for five mana. We get a whopping 6-6 six, six flying trampling nightmare demon. Additionally, it has a special ability. We can pay two life to surveil two, which means we're going to be looking at the top two cards of our library and putting any number of them in our graveyard and the rest on top of our library in any order. Now, a 6-6 six, six flying trampler usually comes at a downside, such as uh, Abyssal Persecutor or Demon of Catastrophes. But not only does this demon not have downsides, but it has a ridiculous upside, which is totally abusable in Commander. Now, just two life to dig two cards with Surveil is nothing to sniff at, especially when we start out at 40 life and graveyard decks are absolutely gonna love this card. Topping off the list is Beast Whisper for two and two green. So for four mana, we get a two, three elf druid. And it states that whenever you cast a creature spell, you draw a card. Now, we've had this effect before in uh, Soul of the Harvest and Primordial Sage, which arguably were bigger creatures, but this, those cards cost six mana and this card only costs four mana, which means it comes in super early single-handedly keeps your hand full during the entire game and additionally it's also an elf which means it's also a relevant creature type in elf decks absolutely amazing 
Well, those were, in our opinion, the top five Guilds of Ravnica cards for Commander. Now, let us know, do you agree with this list? Do you disagree with this list? Do you think we left out a card? Do you think we put on a card in there? Do you think, eh, probably not gonna see too much play? Then let us know either in the comments below or via Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You can join us there on the, in, on the socials and let us know what you think. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube for the most powerful decks and advice everyone can afford. And if you do, don't forget to hit the little bell button. And finally, if you like these videos, you want to help us make more, you'd like to keep us sleep deprived by making all these videos back to back, then head on over to patreon.com slash budgetmtgdex and consider donating as little as a dollar a month because it really helps us out so that we can get some coffee and stay awake. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm David and this is Budget MTG Dex.